Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Wilhelm Scream, and welcome back to another day in Destiny 2 for some more Destiny 2 news and Season of Arrivals soon to be Beyond Light Intel. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering a very easy economy glitch that you can use in the preparation for Beyond Light, as everybody will always need more of everything. So why not take advantage of anything that does give you as much stuff as you could possibly want. And today we're going to be talking about mods. This is a fairly old economy glitch, but the old ones are usually the best ones. And I'm going to throw in a new one that was discovered not by me, but by a fellow YouTuber who is also awesome. And I will link his YouTube channel down in the description box below this video. But before we get into all of that, I just want to remind everybody I'm still doing the giveaway on my YouTube channel of a full Beyond Light expansion DLC. If we can reach 50,000 subscribers by the time that that actually launches, which is in a month and a half, I don't think that's really possible, but who knows, we might surprise me. Either way, we're doing that at 50,000 subscribers, regardless if we reach it by the actual expansion release date or not. If we do, maybe I'll do two giveaways of a Beyond Light. That'd be, yeah, I think that works out. All you have to do to be entered into that giveaway or any other giveaway on this YouTube channel is like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn on the notifications, the bell that's right next to the big red subscribe button, and follow me on Instagram or Twitter. They'll be linked in the description box down below. I also encourage everybody to go ahead and join the Discord channel that's linked in the description box. Great community of people over there helping everybody else out with runs and such, with nightfalls, raids, all kinds of stuff. Huge community growing by leaps and bounds. Head on over there if you're looking for an easy pickup group. And as always, if you stick around till the end of the video, I'll have a secret hashtag you can leave in the comments section to be entered into that giveaway a second time for this video. And remember, those secret hashtags, they stack between all videos. So if you haven't done this on a previous piece of content on this channel, go back, check out another video, and of course, why not do it again? All right, so let's get into it. Why am I standing near old Ada 1? Well, some people may know, but some people might not. Ada One, if you go to her second page, sells mod components for 25 gunsmith materials and three legendary shards. So, what is the best way to farm up mod components when there is actually a vendor that sells mod components? You might think it's that vendor, but of course it is not. Why would it ever be the actual vendor? So let's talk about mod components and the economy surrounding them a little bit. And I have a few numbers that I'm going to be throwing at you. So just keep in mind that I've already done the math and this works out. So let's talk about gunsmith materials or mods to glimmer or legendary shards. That's really what we're going to be concentrating on. So as I said here, 25 gunsmith materials and three legendary shards will get you one mod component, which can be used in an assortment of things. Always good to have them around. So let's just for one second think, what is a legendary shard worth in Glimmer and how much are gunsmith materials worth relative to what you actually have to spend to get something like this item? So if you head over to Spider, and I won't right now, but trust me, if you head over to Spider, you can buy legendary shards for glimmer a legendary shard is worth 5000 glimmer if you didn't know so for every mod component you would buy from eight of one you would be spending essentially 25 gunsmith materials and 15000 total glimmer now why is glimmer important in this case because as everything gets spent you will slowly run out of one over the other. And the real goal here is to sell as much as you can on all of them. So now let's cover another way to get mod components. As I said, mod components are great for things like this, the random mods that you can buy from A to one. You can also buy, if you head over to the drifter, I believe he has or no, excuse me, the Prismatic Recaster. We'll head over there really quick just to take a look. I believe you can buy a uh, material that allows you to focus 
your Umbral Ingrams. Slightly more, I believe that's only for tier three. But let me just check really quick. Prismatic Recaster. Does sell Trace Override for Legendary Shards. You can also buy all the mods with mod components. So mod components allow you to buy certain mods from the Gunsmith as well as the Prismatic Recaster or anybody else who does sell mods. So they can come in handy. It's always good to have quite a few of them. Now I, fortunately, have a lot of them. I have 193. And none of these were actually purchased from A to 1. Because, as I said, we're going to make sure that you can get all of these things for the cheapest price possible. So let's get into this actual economy glitch now. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open your collections tab. You're going to want to go to weapons, head over to heavy weapons, scroll down to linear fusion rifles, and you're going to want to pick up this weapon, the King Cobra 4FR. Make sure you have a clear heavy economy on your character, so don't have anything other than the weapon that you have equipped so that you can hold at least nine of these and you're going to do that you're going to pick up nine of them and as you can see each one costs 250 glimmer and three gunsmith materials remember that a mod component from a to one would cost you 15,000 glimmer and 25 gunsmith materials. So we're gonna pick up nine of these. And once your inventory is full, head back over to your character screen and simply delete them. And as you can see, you will get one mod component. I believe it's per every 10 actually. So there might be a chance where you actually go through a whole roll of these and don't get one. But no matter, you probably will get two the next time you do it. All you have to do is rinse and repeat this process to farm up my components. Now here's the numbers for the actual math that tell you that this is actually the cheapest way to farm out my components. It will cost you 27 gunsmith materials and 2,250, excuse me, glimmer to buy those nine King Cobra 4 FRs. Once you delete them all, you will get back 1,125 glimmer and 18 gunsmith materials. So in total, a mod component will only cost you 1,125 glimmer and nine gunsmith materials versus the 25 gunsmith materials and three legendary shards for a mod component, which of course legendary shards cost 5,000 glimmer each with a total of 15,000 glimmer. So nine, legend nine gunsmith materials and 1,125 glimmer versus 25 gunsmith materials and 15,000 glimmer. Pretty big change there folks so take advantage of that farm as long as you want this has been around for quite a while i have not talked about it in a good bit of time but as i said the oldest glitches are the best glitches now for one other thing and i can't take credit for this big shout out to my buddy jarvinius or jarv 
going to link his YouTube channel in the description box down below. Great YouTuber. He found this. I don't know if there was something swirling around in the community before he discovered it, but he's certainly the first person that I saw to find it. And this revolves around the enhancement cores. So if you were farming last week, you might have quite a bit of the enhancement prisms, as well as hopefully you have enough golf balls, or as we like to call them, or the ascendant shards. And you're looking to farm up a few more enhancement cores. So the best way to do this is to again, head over to your collections tab, go to armor this time, head over to the leveling tab, go to the blue and pick up one of these, any one of these, but I'm going to pick these one, the War Mantis. Now an interesting thing about these blue helmets, when you go and click on them, you will notice they come with five energy already equipped. You can then apply upgrades to get to eight used energy. You want essentially to the point where you see the enhancement prisms come up rather than the enhancement cores. Now, as you can see, I used three enhancement cores to upgrade that to eight. I will now use one enhancement prism And then I'm going to delete this piece of armor. As you can see, I got six enhancement cores back. I only used three. The last upgrade was used by the enhancement prism, but one enhancement prism essentially equals out to three enhancement cores. So you use three, you get those three back plus another three. So if you're looking to convert enhancement prisms into enhancement cores, this is by far the best farm to do. And because Nightfall ordeals, even at the lowest level power of 750, can still, excuse me, 1020, can still reward enhancement prisms, though rare, 1020s are so easy to farm out, I would suggest if you're looking for enhancement cores, go farm this, and regardless if you get some enhancement cores or enhancement prisms, at the end of the day, you'll have more materials all around. So that's going to be it for all the information in today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you found this information helpful. And for the secret hashtag today, because this is sort of a Beyond Light prep video, leave a hashtag Beyond Light. And as always, I am Wilhelm Scream. Of course, we will see you next time. Little.